Howdy, cowgirl. What YouTube channel are you on today? Cowhide Music. And what product are we reviewing? The Rolling Bee Bender. Alright, this is uh, Nathan with Cowhide Music. We're here today to review the uh, Rolling B and G Bender replacement saddle units. Um, these are um, drop-in replacement units uh, for your guitar such that you don't need to make any permanent modification to the guitar to add a G or a B bender and you can actually add multiple benders to a single guitar. The ones I have are for a Tele style three barrel bridge. They also come in a six barrel uh, Stratocaster style bridge. Um, we'll zoom in on the unit I have in my hand here and show you how it works. It's a well machined uh, interesting unit. It works pretty much on string tension and can be adjusted both for height and intonation and also for how much pitch bend you get when you activate the lever. I already have installed in my Mexican Tele here a B bender unit um, and we'll do a little bit of demonstration with this guitar to show you how the system works and how it sounds. So if you're interested in hearing some country twangy sounds, stick around. All right, so here is the zoomed in picture of the rolling G bender unit. Um, it is um, comprised of two pieces of finely machined brass. If I can pull the uh, bender leveler arm unit out here. Um, this is the unit that actually holds your string. There's a little ball end notch for the ball end of your string. And then what you do is you pull the string and loop it through that small hole through the top and it rides and rests in this nicely smooth, very smooth machined uh, notch and then comes and rides over that um, little set screw there. That set screw actually is kind of important. It actually will set how high the bender unit will ride up for palm activation when it's under string tension. So you can set how high you would like the a unit for your palm to activate it. The other set screw that's important here is this one here, which will set how far down your uh, string will basically travel during the bend and that sets the pitch of the bend. The other unit um, is adjustable. You can set the height with this um, uh, set screw and these two set screws here will help you set the intonation. And finally, there's this screw here, which will mount the this piece into your Fender three barrel style bridge. For this G bender unit, you have a um, you have a second notch here for your D string. On the B bender unit, it would be the other handedness, such that that notch would be on the other side for the E string. So next, what we're going to do is show you the B bender unit in action and what kind of sounds we can get out of it.
right, so here is actually a pretty interesting uh, lick to play with a B bender. Um, it requires actually a, a whole step bend, or actually a, a step and a half bend, I should say. from E to G on the G string here, so. So the, 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 the lick basically goes, it's a, it's a lick you could play like in an E minor or a G major. It's also a lick that can sort of be played in a D or a B minor, which is you can take actually a only a whole step bend on on the E, so E to, to F sharp, and so you can use it in in sort of both contexts. Um, it's really centered around you know just a pentatonic scale. But that's a really difficult lick to play without a B bender. It is possible to try to put your two fingers here. But it's just far, far, far easier to play with a B bender. So that was just one cool lick that I wanted to sort of share. Um, it's probably one of, one of my favorite licks. Um, and you can play all sorts of kind of derivatives from there. Um, again, sort of just out of your standard uh, pentatonic pattern, whether it's gonna be E minor or G major or, or D major or, or B. Um, B minor. So really nice, really dulcet, you know, sort of tones out of this uh, rolling B bender. I could not be more happy with it. Um, Another cool thing is to you know bend uh, bend chords or bend notes in chords. So here we take the uh, a G a G major chord with sort of the F shape here at the third fret, lower lower sets of strings. So yeah, lots of lots of really really nice tones that come out of this uh, B bender unit. I recommend everyone go and buy one if you have a little bit of spare money lying around. Um, it's a it's a lot of fun. So. Anyway, that's uh, Nathan from Cowhide Music. I have to say I give my uh, approval of, of this product. It's, uh, it's well worth the money and it really gives you an interesting sound. So yeah, it's, uh, you, could, <laughs> you could do this all day and really, really, really annoy the people you live with, but... But I'm sorry, there's nothing there's nothing prettier than that. So yes, again, Nathan with uh, Cowhide Music uh, endorsing the Rolling B Bender. Go check it out. Um, I'll leave the link to the website where you can purchase this. 
And if you like the video, make sure that you subscribe and hit like. Thank you.